Let's go Oilers, let's go Oilers indeed. Oilers win, Oilers win, play the bumbo, baby! Bang! It was game three, it was Vegas, it was Oilers, it was round two, playoff hockey. We are on episode 132. Thank you for watching. My name is Matt for Oilers After Dark. We got a series, folks. Oh, boy, we got a lot to talk about tonight. Let's jump in it, shall we? Vegas started out with a power play. Tripping is a trip is a trip. Don't do it. You won't go to the box. Oilers get a power play of their own. Yep, get power play. Mm -hmm. that, 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 that's power play. Don't complain about it. Get in the box, bud. Get in the box, bud. Go in the box, bud, you dumb dumb. Oilers, unfortunately... <laughs> That loud. Do not score. I mean, you can't score on every power play, can you? And it was a slash. Connor McDavid was cutting through the middle, and Shea Dum Dum Theodore decided, hey, I'm going to slash him on the hand. <laughs> Excuse me. Cannot, cannot do that. Should not do that. Why would you do that? It's okay, we just didn't score on that. But you know what they did score on, though. You know. If you know, you know. And now you know. When you get scored on. And it's this guy. Bug Stead. Bang. Bye bye. It was a nice little wraparound. Koskin made that play happen. He got the assist on it. What well, were buzzing. That whole line was buzzing. And they got the goal. They got rewarded for it. We move on. Shea Theodore, I'm to talk to you for one quick second, my good sir. You should be suspended for your flash, which wasn't a slash. Does, does the NHL need to know what a slash is and what a spear in the nuts is? Because that was a spear in the nuts of the nether regions. But I digress, it was two minutes, should have been a major, but you know what happens when you take back-to-back -back power plays because you're a dum-dum. Theodore, you're a dum-dum, you should be suspended. A lot of suspension is going to be handed out on this game, I believe. Mm, you know what happens when you, uh, when you poke the bear? You get a Boosh bomb in your face. Oilers get a power play goal. Bouchard gets it, assisted by Hopkins and your number one captain, Kinda make David. Orders up two nothing in the first period. Ooh, this is looking like the orders of old. Let's not blow this lead, boys. Let's not blow our load and forget to play hockey the rest of the way. Vegas is really talented at coming back. I mean, I can make jokes. Not gonna make that joke. No, 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 no. I'm gonna keep that to you guys. We move on. Oilers continue pressuring, continue going, continue the onslaught of shots to the tune of 11 to 6 after one. But before the first period is done, oh boy, we got one, we got two. Let's make it an even three, shall we? Ekholm, welcome. Hudapate. His first goal as an Oiler in the playoffs from his favorite spot. That is right, folks. Ekholm scores from his dot. Stick high. Let it fly. No joke, man. That's Ekholm's spot. Hey, that slap shot. It's a beauty. He lets nothing go with the Terry. We move on. Second period. Much like the same. More Edmonton pressure. More Edmonton chances. Vegas gets a few chances, they get a few shots. All in said and told, oh, there's going to power play. Oh, yeah, what is going to power play? William Carrier, Carrier, high sticks, Darnell Nurse. Now, I'm going to talk about that for a second. It shouldn't have been a penalty. Oilers fans, hear me out. Hear me out here. Vegas fans, I'm on your side. It shouldn't have been a penalty for one reason. 
The puck hit the netting five seconds before that. The refs lost sight of the puck for almost 10 seconds. The puck hit the net above the rink there where it should be no touchy touchy. Puck hit the netting. Refs didn't notice. Play continued. When the puck came down, it dropped in the vicinity of Nurse and the Vegas player. Vegas player high stick Nurse. That's two minutes. It is what it is what it is. Refs are bad all over. Orders take advantage of it. No, they don't. Unfortunately, it was not scored on. But then the shenanigans happen because you know it's 3 nothing. Heaven forbid you can't let Vegas just be down 3 nothing. Zach Hyman gets an interference call. Stuart Skinner gets a delay of game. That was avoidable. Skinner, tend the net. You're better that way. And then DeHarnay gets a delay of game right as soon as the penalty is served. DeHarnay throws the puck over the glass. Like, silly, stupid mistakes that are avoidable happening. Thankfully, Vegas is god-awful. God, god-awful god at the power play. They ended that 0 for 3 being an electric term. So... We move on, we continue pressing, and we miraculously, miraculously, miraculously get the puck to somebody who hasn't scored in a minute, who needed to score, who should have scored one already. Ryan Nugent Hopkins, welcome, welcome to the goal party. Assisted by McDavid and Nurse. We got ourselves a hockey game. It's 4 nothing Edmonton. After two, your second period shots were 16 for the Oilers, 9 for Vegas. Let me repeat that. Shots were 11-6 for Edmonton after one. 16-9 were the shots in the second period. 27 shots for the Oilers, 11 for Vegas. After two. So we're at 4 nothing. We're looking pretty. We're thinking, hey, this game's in the bag. Bang, baby. Hold your horses. This game's about to get ugly. We know Vegas has the firepower to come back. We know the will, the skill, yada, yada, yada. I feel bad for Hill. But it took a while. Vegas ended up taking 11 shots in the third period, making it really close. It took five, I'm going to say about six minutes, 5.58, but we're going to round up. It took six minutes for Nathan Roy Wah, to score. Makes it 4-1, and this is where things get interesting. 4-1, we're looking pretty. Well, there's only took two, six shots in the third period. Again, unlike Vegas when they had their 5-1 monster lead, they kept pumping out their top two lines, pumping out, pumping out, pumping out, pumping out their top two lines. Nine, 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 not the Oilers. We don't need to do that. We got the lead. Why are we going for more goals? It's stupid. And unfortunately, we put McDavid and Drysaddle out with less than two minutes left to play in the game. And all oh, hell breaks loose. Petrolangelo, you P-O-S. I hope you get a four-game suspension. Sit for the rest of the series. I know there's only three games left, but four to make sure he's, if they do win, he sits out one more. Part of me wishes you were out for the rest of the playoffs, like the rest of the series, because that is going to be your playoffs because you're out. And part of me wants you to only face one game. Selfishly, I want you to get one game suspension. Why? 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 So when you come back and get your ass tuned in by Kane, Nurse, Costin, I, I, I'll say it before and I'll say it again. You better hope to God he has mercy on your soul because those guys won't. The Oiler players, if you come back in this series, you thought you were being targeted before. You thought your hits that you were getting were, oh, they keep hitting me. You don't want to get hit, quit touching the puck. You don't want to get hit, don't play in the NHL. You don't like getting hit, tugged on, slashed a little bit. 
Go pay tiddly wins down the block. It's the freaking NHL and freaking playoffs. Man up. Don't be a little baby to do what you did. What you did was intent to injure. It was stupid. And you should be tossed the book. Forget a fine. You should be gone for the remainder of the series. And which brings me to Nurse. Nurse, I get it. You're full of vinegar and you're full of just anger. You went in when you shouldn't have went in. You could be facing suspension too. Wouldn't that be an amazing game five? No. No uh, Theodore. No Petrolangelo and no Nurse for the Oilers. Who's going to be affected more? Misa thinks the Vegas Golden Knights. Because they rely, rely on that defensive pair of Theodore and Petrolangelo to keep the puck out of their net. They're not very good without him. We can kind of suffice without Nurse. He plays a lot of minutes. He plays PK. He plays second unit power play. But we can fill in by committee because we we know it's only going to be one game for him. And it might not even be that. They could just rescind it and be like, dude, you went in. The other guy was willing to bat because he punched you eight times first. And then you got your shots in. Oh boy, howdy, did you get your shots in. So instead of talking about such a great performance by Skinner facing 26 shots and letting in one goal, McDavid tying an assist record and again, 100 assists in both playoffs and regular season. I think he's only the ninth player ever to do it. Hawkins gets his first NHL. Instead of pumping up the facts that the Oilers molly walked the shit out of Vegas again. Vegas dummy. Yeah. That's what you did. You got dummied. Funny how every time Vegas loses, they turn into a bunch of whiny babies and they need that pound of flesh. Doesn't work out for you. Didn't work out very well game two. Definitely didn't work out very well game four. Game 5, Oilers need to show up with the same intensity. They may not score as many, but they need to show up with the same intensity. They need to pumble Vegas in shots, hits. Just take it to them. Let them know that we're here to stay. We ain't going nowhere. So, in closing, when all was said and done, Shots were 26-33 Edmonton. Power plays were 0 for 4 for Vegas, 1 for 4 for Edmonton. Yes, I know it was 1 for 6, but the last two don't count because Edmonton wasn't trying. McDavid, Skinner, dry settle your stars. Plain and simple. There are reasons why you won. Why should you put it? They are the, the they're, they're the reasons why you won. I'm not even going to lie and sugarcoat it and say, well, it was because of this guy, this guy, this guy. No. It was flat out. Because of those four guys. Series is tied to two. Game five on Friday in Vegas. My name is Matt. Tell me what you think. Do you, are there suspensions coming? How heavy are the suspensions that are coming? Are the suspensions coming? How heavy are they going? What are your thoughts? What are your thoughts, your feelings on it? I think there's going to be suspensions coming. I think Theodore gets one. He should. That's a spear, not a slash. Nurse could get one. And Petrolangelo should get two. Maybe even three. But that's it. That's everything for me. My name is Matt for Oilers After Dark. Thank you for watching. Be good, everybody. We will see you on Friday.